I was a Trump supporter then, and I'm a Trump supporter now. I don't give a f who know about it. I don't care how you feel about it. I don't give a what your political views are and how you feel like he's a racist. He's the I don't give a f I hear it before, like when I was when he was president and he was doing like amazing ass making the country run the right way, but it was like a crime to admit that he was running the f out of this. I'm done with that because I realized that it's a lot of robot, dumb, blind motherfuckers walking around that don't realize what's going on. So now I'm not scared to say that I am a Trump supporter, always going to be a Trump supporter. I don't fuck how you feel about it. I do not give a <laughs> Preach out, girl. Preach, preach it, preach it, ghetto girl. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get on with the show, y'all. Woo! Dag blam. That girl was nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, here we go, uh, I'm TJ Quake, the ghetto gamer, on this gaming thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is happening, people? This is TJ Quake, the ghetto gamer, and I'm back once again, you guys. Woo, it's been a minute since I threw out some shiz, yes. I've been doing all kinds of other stuff because I've been working on all these other projects, getting things together and everything. I'm also been doing my thing with my band, Slapback. You know, we 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 prepping, rehearsing for this big damn show coming up. But um, uh, so so I, I just been busy. But uh, I, I'm back in the mix again, and uh, I had to come back in the mix with this crazy one. I did a video actually just about maybe a week ago actually. Um, but uh, I put that only on my Rumble channel and on my um. It's on Rumble and Odyssey and uh, my Locals channel. So I'm going to have those links below, you guys, because sometimes when certain things don't get posted here and everything, they'll be on my Rumbles channel because I'm, I'm actually trying to expand my Rumbles. So for all you guys that are you know fans of this right here, start following me over on Rumble and everything and then get on my Locals thing because that's when we'll be having the TJ and MJ spin your dollar. There'll be special little things going there. You know, you guys, you know, if you feel you want to contribute to the flavor, it'd be it'd be wonderful um but you know you guys could definitely get over there uh check me out on rumble uh, as well because that's where I'm probably where some of my even more hardcore i guess some of the stuff that you can't you can't put here on youtube because a lot of stuff on youtube dude they, they want to silence your shares all the time over here uh, on odyssey and rumble dude i can go i can go crazy raw on there and i did that whole thing about that daggum craziness of the nashville shooter that that, that um trans thing that happened over there and i did a whole big thing over there and i and i let my mind go crazy on that one Th stuff that you know youtube well they, they 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 they'll let it play but then they they put some restriction on it and you won't see it in the algorithm so i, I said frick it i just took it off the daggum youtube i put it over on rumble and everything you, you try to silence me one place i'm going to another place i'm going to where, the, where there's freedom and, and that's just the way we got to start doing things for now on ladies and gentlemen because these daggum leftists dude they don't get it and everything. But I'm glad to see that there is more people, more of my brothers and sisters that are waking up. And she's not the only one, ladies and gentlemen. That sister right there, which we're going to show some more of what she got to say. Because this girl, she preaches it from a ghetto perspective. Yes. She preaches it from a ghetto perspective. The kind of mob kind of vibe that you know what I'm saying. And when I mean ghetto people, whenever time I say ghetto, it means layman's terms. Okay? Uh, terms for the people to understand. Uh, everything. Ter terms for the everyday average people that live in the hood or wherever else. You know, that's the way we, we come across. So when I say ghetto gaming, ghetto gaming is actually my my, my flavor for, for my gaming channel and everything. For, you know, for you video gamers out there, that's what I do. I also game stream and I do video do video game reviews and movie reviews and and that's what that is this is more of my pop culture news political you know crazy talk and everything but the ghetto aspect is always layman's terms that's what it, it comes down to something that you guys can kind of kind of grasp that damn this is an ordinary guy this is ordinary people on the streets who are giving their personal views on what's going on in this crazy daggum world we live in more more or less this crazy country that we live in now because united states is becoming so full of bull shizzle and everything because of the left and we're trying to make america great again <laughs> and everything and let me point this out see this is a sister right here and we're gonna get into more of her flavor right now okay she's pointing out the obvious 
She's pointing out very, very simple things of what most people need to start doing. Stop being so simplified and loud and being robots and listening to whatever the media tells me. I am a robot. I am being programmed. I am being programmed to do this way, think this way, be all this way. No. Think outside the box because that's what the me that's what these daggum leftists, these progressives, these SJWs, these woke flipniks out there want you to start doing and everything. They want you to bow down so that you will become a, 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 a little peon. This is how they take control of you and so forth. And she's about to explain a little bit more of that. I'm going to let her go on and do her explaining because I do enough explaining that shit. And then I'm just going to elaborate what she's saying. Okay, you guys? So let's get on with the freaking show. Let's you guys see what this girl right here has got to say. Because this girl right here, this is like I love it when black people, and, and you're seeing more and more of this, ladies and gentlemen, for, for, for all my white people out there, there's more and more of us black, black people out there than you know, that you realize that are on your side, that are that, that voted for Trump, that are not that, that are not being brainwashed by the stupid bullshits of the past, all oh, the racism, the racism, not all of us are jumping on that shiz all the time, and so forth, and this girl here will explain a little bit more of how she thinks about it, where she's coming from, and guarantee you people, there's a lot more of us that are just like her that are starting to wake up you starting to hear brothers all the time talking about man when trump was office in office man we was making money no we was making money see like we would deal with a lot of the stuff that we did in we back when we had the great depression who we called it not financially trump. stable comfortable or nothing like that but when trump was in office i was feeling really good really yes trump trump so joe <laughs> biden man. too much you'd rather have trump back I want Trump back. I do not. I'm not for Biden. I'm not for him. Uh -uh. Did you vote for Joe Biden? No, Brandon. No. No. I did. Did you vote at all in this last election? No. No. Mm -hmm. You don't want to vote, but now He's that honest, you though. could have a choice between Trump or Biden, you would choose. I would choose Donald Trump because he's he's about making money, and you know, business for, like, Independent businesses and stuff like that. I miss Daddy T. Trump. I miss Daddy T. For Daddy real. I mean, T. like, I respect him because he was real about his opinion. Oh, even though boy. I didn't always agree with him, but he kept it real with us. We know what it was, what was gonna happen. Like things was better. Like the country Amen. was better. Trump for the culture. For the culture. For the yeah, culture. He just misunderstood, kind of like a Kanye. But you know, he he may say stuff the wrong way sometimes, or have a wrong approach, wrong wordplay. But I mean. He mean well as a collective, as a people, you know what I'm saying? He cares, you know. Who's a better president for America, Joe Biden or Donald Trump? I feel like Donald Trump. Obvious. Because, I mean, Your his feelings whole are slogan correct, is I make believe. America great again, no matter how we have to, basically. So, yeah, Donald Trump. That's black people think about money. Biden ain't bringing no money to our pockets. And... Black people relate to that shiz. When they start to realize that the left ain't really doing what they say they was going to do for you, they start waking up. They start taking that red pill. That's right. So go on, girl. Let's uh, let's uh, let's move on to what this girl right here got to say. Because, man, she, she, oh, man, she just, she puts it out there, dude. Uh, let's get on. Let's get on to what she got to say. I'm going to put uh, put on my, uh, my hair on here. Yeah, girl. Preach it. Preach on. Now, I was one of them people, too, once upon a time. When Kanye was running around with Trump, I could not understand that for the life of me. I'm like, why the f would he be running around with Trump? Like, until I f start doing my own research, which the f I keep telling y'all to do. Trump is not the f enemy, bro. Trump is actually on the f right side of the fence. You f is just so blind, y'all don't see what the f is really going on, bro. Like, most of y'all just watch the news, and that's where y'all get all your information from. The news, when he was walking around telling y'all that that's fake news, it is, y'all. It's propaganda to brainwash y'all, bro. Like, See, she's understanding what's going on. She's understanding that it's all brainwashing you. Everything that's going on, that's going so freaking crazy lately, ladies and gentlemen, with the with the whole trans community and so forth, what that's going on. Man, when the LGBT first came out there, actually it was just the LGB, you know, before the, the T came in there and so forth. I understand now why a, a lot of gay people don't really like associating with, 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 with trans people. They say, nah, that, that ain't us and everything. Because they, they just went to a whole nother le level with the shit. 
is and everything, taking it to crazy levels that is beyond I that I even thought would ever go. I never thought this shit was going to go the way it's going now and everything. And you guys see it where, where, where everything is going. It's not going very well with, with this, this group of people and so forth. So as you can see, people are, are, are starting to wake up to, to the bullshits. Even people on the left are starting to go, wait a minute, hold up. This is going a little too far. We might need to do a little more research on what's going on, which is what this sister here is doing. Go on, girl. Keep talking. I, I hate that, like, I'm one of these people now because we are the people that sound crazy. Like, wait, oh bring that God, back, God, you guys. This, bring this that. You got to so, hear this. One of these people now because we are the people that sound hold up, crazy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. When he was walking around telling y'all that that's fake news, it is, y'all. It's propaganda to brainwash y'all, bro. Like, I hate that, like, I'm one of these people now because we are the people that sound crazy. Like When she means by, I hate that we're one of these people, I'm one of these people now, she, she's, she's, she's in a way upset that she has been woken up from the woke ideology that she used to believe in and so forth. That she was, she was all about that. It was easy to hate on people on the right. It was easy to hate on Trump. It was easy to hate on him because the media made it popular. And when and people follow culture, they pop, they follow popularity. And there's not there's not enough leaders. There's only followers in this country. And most of these people that are simplified that get that, that, why do you think they're trying to put this stuff in the kid in, in kids' school CRT, you know, uh, uh, all the LGBTQ stuff that they want to push down people's throats and so forth. in these schools they trying to trying to groom your children early so that they'll wake they'll they'll, they'll be automatically brainwashed to the craziness and accept it and then be fighters for their side because they want to make more victims. And the more victims the left can have, the more votes they think they're going to get to keep them in power so that they can eventually take away all your freedoms, which is what they want to do when they keep trying to take away, say, your guns and everything. Oh, these guns are, uh, are, are, are assault weapons. These are uh, guns you use on a battlefield. Sorry, mother flip. An AR-15 is not used on a damn battlefield. They don't use those kind of guns. Not in the war. They use the daggum M4s, M16s, you know, more high-tech type weaponry. They ain't using no daggum AR-15. Everything that's a, just a semi-automatic. No, they use all full automatic, dog. But anyway, that's another story. Go on, girl. Keep talking. Like, oh, my God, y'all. This, this is so damn. Let me just, I'm going to just say that if I could go down there riot for them trying to arrest trump i would i feel like the this is your president yep and i'm gonna stick beside him donald trump is my president i don't know who y'all let y'all look at trump president look at biden <laughs> preach it girl look at my, i will put my mother president up against that sleep any day any day <laughs> any motherfucking day wait till y'all realize that trump was never the problem and she's absolutely right dude Wait till you guys realize. That's the reason. And again, going back to what she said earlier too, when she says, "I hate that I, I, I that I'm one of those people now," because she now knows that after she's been red pill, she can't go back. She knows what what's really happening now. She knows what was being put into her head by the woke media and the rest of uh, of these flipnecks on the left and so forth. She's she's realizing like, wait a minute, hold up. You know, you know, you, this dude keeps crying wolf all the time, but there's never a wolf. That's what she's realizing. And she's like, oh, man, the next time this fool calls out wolf, I'm going to say, ah, ah, you ain't getting me this time. And that's what she's doing. You guys ain't got me this time. I'm tired of hearing these lies that you keep pushing. But now I'm I'm realizing this, that now people are starting to turn on me for me believing in the thing that I used to not like, which was Trump. Now, I love Trump, and I know what he's really about, and everybody else now looks like a crazy lunatic, but now they're looking at me like the crazy. I'm part of the people that are being persecuted now. That's what she means by, I hate that I'm one of these people now, because now she realizes that she she's, she's going to have to freaking 
get with all the freaking craziness that comes uh, to conservatives, to Christians, to people like us who are constantly being browbeated and forced to have to accept bullshits when we don't want to have any, we don't want to have nothing to do with it. We know who was a real president. Trump was. And that old bag of bones Biden, he ain't nothing but evil, pure, just, uh, just, uh, an entity that dis- is like a disturbance in the force and that's what he is and he is completely ruining our country and people need to wake up and realize it as she has oh my god it's just uh, that by the time y'all wake up it'd be too late most of the time so i found out it'd be too late it'd be too late because nobody cracks open a book nobody digs deep and really True. find out what's going on they just cut the tv on and let the program program them and that's what they believe that's what they walk around screaming that's what they stand by like for real i'm not of this world like that's what i'm starting to realize like i'm I, like i'm one of them people that was sent here for like the greater good like i'm not of this world i'm nothing like y'all bro i'm nothing like y'all you know what blows my mind when now it's about the time when people say they don't like Trump or they don't support Trump and I be like, why you don't like Trump? Like, tell me honestly why you don't like Trump. The first thing that they fuck him up is he's a racist. We all a little racist. All everybody in the world is a little racist. All of us go places and say about the other race. Everybody. And, 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 and she's she's right about that. Everybody makes jokes about everybody. Comedians do it all the time. That's the reason why comedians can't do be comedians anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, do you guys realize? Just, 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 just jump on that real quick. Comedians have had it the hardest in the entertainment business. Why? Because they can no longer do the stuff that we used to be able to listen to back in the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s. Now, everybody gets their feelings hurt. <laughs> Look what happened to Chappelle and them. You got fools that literally jump up on stage was trying to attack him. And everything. Of course, that guy got his butt whooped by his security. Oh, he had his arm way back. Dude, it was it was it was kind of sick. <laughs> Twisted his shit so far around his neck and uh, man, they Chappelle's the wrong person to be messing with. Some of these these activists that think they can go out and throw start throwing blows on people, they're gonna start realizing we ain't gonna put up with that shit no more. Try doing that in the hood. <laughs> you notice these motherfuckers don't never go in the hood and try doing that shiz. Yeah. Cause uh, they, it'll be a whole nother, a whole nother story will go down and everything. But it, 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 it just goes to show that people need to wake the flip up. This sister right here knows exactly what's going on now because she sees and realizes that the real enemy has been the Democratic Party all along. And more and more black people are waking up to this shiz. Now, average American, if what the Biden administration is reporting that happening here in America actually lines up with what people think on the streets. Look at those gas prices. They ain't comfortable to me. Hell no. Joe Biden says that we're in we're in a strong economy, that we're doing uh, uh. great. Do you believe that? F- no. Ain't no comfortability around nowhere. It really hurts America with the gas prices because the one we have to get to work. Mm. And if we can't get to work and we gotta spend all our money on gas that we going to work on, that means you can't pay your bills. So it's an endless circle of uh, endless debt. Everybody gonna go in debt, you know sooner or later because it, I hope like, not. what's happening now is everybody is feeling the heat from you know every angle of the society so yeah I feel like no it's not true it's bullshit, bullshit completely because like rent prices is crazy we, we, we paying I don't know how much percent more but I would say at least three three or four hundred more than we was paying two years ago like that's ridiculous Steep. you know what I'm saying salaries aren't going up so how are we supposed to make the difference in income and rent? It doesn't make sense. So when the Biden administration comes forward and says that economically and financially our country's doing really well, do you think that's a lie? Yeah, I think they're blowing smoke up, up out behind. Let's go back to what this girl got to say because before before we close this out, everything. He is a little racist. It's in our DNA, each and every last one of us. It's in us to stand with your people. To, let me tell you something I hear my fiance say all the time. If you walk into a room full of white people and there's one black person, by nature, you're going to go over there and introduce yourself to that black person first because you're going to be like, oh, that's me. If a white person walk in a room full of black people, they're going to naturally zero in on the other white person. We all are a little racist by nature. 
Come with something else. Come with something else. Yet y'all over here starving and poor and biting us and giving all the fucking money y'all going to work and earning to another fucking country. Booyah! Booyah! And, and I like what she says on this next one. Listen to this point she makes, this example. Make it make sense. That's like me watching my own kids starve in this house, but I'm making sure uh, uh, Becky down the street makes sure her kids eat and, and making sure the kids around the corner eat and going up to the school giving out free food and then coming home and my fucking kids are starving. <laughs> dude when she said that shit dude i was like dude that's layman's terms right there that straight up tells you in so many words why are we giving all this money over to ukraine we're all worried about ukraine ah ukrainian and the horror that's happening to them let's give billions of dollars Okay, forget about the people that are in our country that are starving, people like, you know, uh, homeless people on the streets, people that are needing, uh, you know, uh, more uh, money towards cancer treatments and things of that nature. They're spending f billions of dollars to help Ukraine build, have a little army to fight against uh, Putin, who you all, we all know Russia's going to take that shit in the end. It, Russia's going to win that. It, I'm sorry. That's how it's gonna go down, people. I'm sorry. I hate. I hate to be the the the, the bad news guy, but but Putin Putin ain't gonna let that shit go, and everything. And ain't not a damn thing any of us can do about it, or this country can do about it. Because why? Putin got that daggum finger on the button. He's been using the threat on using that every single time we try to ju jump in into his business. He's like, oh y'all want to mess? Y'all want to mess? Uh, oh, oh, open up the light switch. Put it on Defcon Five. We about to blaze shiz up. We ain't going to mess with Putin, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't going to happen because that would start World War III. And we all know what happens when that happens. <sniffs> End of the world shiz. Okay. But um, she, what she's saying is take care of home. Take care of self first before you go trying to take the, try, try, trying to, you know, help all these other people out. And then you got your, your kids at home freaking starving. You got fifty dollars. Your kids up there freaking starving. Once, mom, can we go to McDonald's? Oh, I'm sorry. I already gave the kid uh, the the kids next door. And I gave their mama the fifty dollars so she could take her kids to McDonald's. That's what that's what United States is doing. We're taking care of everybody else except for us. We're, we don't we don't watch our own borders. We worry about their borders. We don't take care of our border over here. We're th Thousands and thousands of people are coming into our country illegally and then taking up all of the resources. Don't want to come in here the legal way. Which is all we ask. Can you come in the legal way? Can you can you do that? Can you learn our culture? Can you can you learn our language and stuff like that and be, and and bring something to the to the country and so forth instead of just you know taking taking up my money that I had to work hard for. Now I got to spend it on all these programs that uh, Gavin Newsom in California is giving out for for all the people that came into our country illegally. Now what about me? What about my family? What about my children? Oh now forget them. That's what she's talking about. Go on, girl, preach on. Make it make sense. Y'all elected that money. So stand beside him. Stand beside him. The f I'm done acting like, well, I'm just going to fall in line and act like I'm a Trump hater too. I don't give a f I don't give a f Best thing I ever did was went on a spiritual journey, bro, because I didn't tap so deep into myself. I don't give a f what somebody else think about me. I don't give a f Say that bitch is crazy. I don't want nothing to do with her good. I don't want to be around like y'all anyway. I don't, I don't want to be around a weak mind that's just going along with whatever is, is popular. Preach on, girl. Don't go along with the freaking stupid idiots that are a bunch of followers. Go on. Get away from me. I'm about to go buy a uh, Make America Great Again hat and wear that around because I want all smoke. I want to smoke with whoever. What? <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> She said, I'm going to go get myself. <laughs> ah! <laughs> she says, I'm going to get myself a Make America Great Again hat because I want all that smoke. For all y'all that don't know that lingo, that means we ready to go to blows. Come at it with me. We ready to go. <laughs> That's what that means. You you mess with me, you you mess with the wrong one. <laughs> That's what that's what she's saying and so forth. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, what's starting to happen is more and more people like my sister right here is waking up to the stupid the stupidity of the left and everything. They're realizing this just don't make sense. This just don't make sense. Everything she said was on point, on point, 100 percent. 
and so forth. I can't say it enough. <laughs> this girl was just saying everything that needs to be said, and she needs this video, you guys, needs to be spread to everybody. And so forth. And I'm then I mean to the to, to, to my peoples in the hoods, all the people in the hoodie hoods, and so forth. Send this to your homies and your and your and your sisters and all that shiz. You know, let them know. You know, white people, my white people, my white brothers and sisters out there, send this over there to 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 your to your little uh SJW friends out there who keep trying to act like they talking for black people. Cause we're sick of it. Don't talk for us. Don't be up there saying, oh, we're trying to help black because black people have had it so hard in this country. Shut the hee-haw up. And everything. Stop trying to act like you know what my grandparents' struggle was. You weren't there. You weren't even born. <laughs> and everything. You don't know shizzle. The real shiz that the, the black people went through was freaking back in the day day, like in the 60s and, for, on, and on back and everything. I grew up in the 80s. I didn't deal with all the stupidity that you guys are talking about right now and so forth. I was an 80s kid. I was, you know, 1969 was when I was born and so forth. And I grew up in mainly, mainly around a lot of white people and so forth. Most of my friends were white and whatnot. Yeah, I had some hoodie areas that I lived in in Santana, you know, and whatnot. Yeah, we was kind of more of a mixed group of people. And that's what I'm used to being around, a, a, a mixing pot of people. Not just one side here and one side over here and everything like it is in the South, where they still kind of pretty much, uh, you know, segregate themselves. Black people complain about white people so much, and they live nothing around black people. How you complain about somebody you don't even live around? You don't even associate with half the time. Most of you black people that complain all the time, most of y'all live in the South. And then the ones that are in the media, always look and find out, y'all. You know, for my brothers and sisters out there that are listening to this, look at Joy Reid. Look at freaking Whoopi Goldberg. Look at Sonny on The View. Look at these freaking, these, these supposable black folk and everything who are always talking about there's all this racism. And they yet they're hired by white people. They're on a show that is controlled by, uh, by, by white Jewish people and everything. Well, uh, how, how are you going to be talking all this shiz and everything? And they hired you. You, you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have the positions that you were in. You know what I'm saying? You know, Anna Navarro is one of the worst ones on there too. She's another one and everything. This woman supposedly says she's Republican and she's the biggest leftist on the show. In my personal opinion, she agrees with every left idea that Joy Bear and Whoopi and the rest of them flip neck. <laughs> cackling hands on the view always talk about these women are uh, an embarrassment and everything they they all they do is talk shiz that's all they ever do all they do is talk hateful mess and then they talk about republicans are the ones listen to what they say on their show ladies and gentlemen and then and then watch a watch people like ourselves conservatives people that are around like black conservative check him out you know uh Candace Owens, Tatum, The Daily Wire, you know, listen to these people like that. They, you, you don't ever hear us talking about we want to go out there and, and, and freaking and, and get violent in the street to people and think that they deserve it. You will never hear conservatives saying that shit and everything. Now, what we what we got in the back of our minds is we're not going to let you guys push us over either because it's, it's reaching a boiling point. And these and these and these flip necks out there, they're gonna find out the hard way that y'all, when you push back to when you push on somebody too hard and you push them into a corner, the only thing that's left for that person to do is start freaking working their way out of that corner in the worst way possible. And so Faye. So y'all keep it up and everything. But what she's trying to do is preach to the people out there, a lot of the hoodie people out there, this is what needs to be you know, looked at, open a book, like the woman said, open a book up, read, find out what's really going on. The reason why I was a Trump supporter from the get go, because I knew about Trump from way back in the day. And I'm like, wait a minute. Why is all sudden everybody turning on this guy who they were all cool with? Every rapper was rapping songs about him, doing all kinds of stuff. Al Sharpton, all these people that are talking smack, you know, Jesse Jackson, they gave him an award for freaking helping out the hood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look it up, you guys. I got videos on it and so forth. These people are a bunch of hypocrites and liars. Jesse Jackson and, and, and Al Sharpton, they're nothing but race hustlers and everything. That's all they do. They just jump on any racial issue and so they, they can make money off of it. That's all these people are. 
You got this one brother that's like some supposedly he went to every school and got every degree. And this brother, you know, light skinned brother on there, always talking, you know, talking smack. And he, this dude is hired by white people. Go figure. He gets on White Network. The same people, the what's her name? They uh, they got you know booted off her freaking show off the off of uh, the same kind of network that uh, uh, Joy Reid's on. You know, and we all know Joy Reid is one of the racist black people out there. This woman has nothing but racial hate on the show. Talk shit on white people all the time. And sometimes I be tripping off these people because some of them are married to white people. Isn't that isn't that weird? And everything. I'm just like, how does that work? Look at AOC. Talk shiz on white cis men all the time. White men this, white men that. But yet she's married to the most whitest of white men there is. This guy looks like he's freaking from Scotland. <laughs> everything. Red hair and everything. And so forth. You know what I'm saying? So she she makes no sense. They talk out the side of their neck because everything that they say, you guys, is, is bullshiz. They want you guys to fall in line to some bullshit that they don't follow themselves. Everything that they accused um, us conservatives of, they're the ones that are guilty of it. Like this whole freaking thing with Trump right now and them freaking indicting him over some bullshit. And we all know it. And Trump's freaking poll numbers are skyrocketing. I'm going to vote for Trump big time. 100%. Trump's got my vote. Because all you, da- I want to get rid of you, daggum evil demonic re- Democrats. I'm tired of you guys. And the, once we can finally take power back and everything in a full way, we can get our country back into the way it should be and everything. And and, and, and you dumb flip necks, you guys will be in the in the back still complaining, but at the same time they'll be happy. Look at all the people. Look where Anna Navarro lives right now. She's talking about De- Don uh, DeSantis, right? She lives in Florida. She. T- Hates on, on DeSantis because of all the stuff he's doing and everything, right? But you don't see her freaking leaving Florida. She ain't moving to freaking New York. Well, why isn't she moving to New York? I wonder why, people. Why don't all these people who are like climate activists and all this stuff like that, how come they don't go to freaking China when they want to talk about climate and tell them to lower their emissions? Go to, go to China and tell Chi, hey, Chi, lower your admissions or we're gonna we're, we're gonna start protesting yeah good luck find out what happens with you when you go to china find out what happens when you go to russia and do that find out what happens when you go to north korea or or, or or the or the middle east and try doing that shit they will look at you and they will freaking they will they will freaking take you out before you can even smile one little 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 like grin like you see i just trying to let you guys out that's what'll happen because those countries over there they don't give a flip so how are you going to stop all this stuff from happening if all the other countries around the world ain't doing it themselves? China's the biggest admissions admitter out there along with India. They're not stopping the sins that they're doing. How are you going to stop them? Hmm. No, I don't think I think I don't think America's going to stop Xi from doing what he wants to do, being he has a nuclear power. Yeah. It's not going to happen and everything. So, ladies and gentlemen, all I'm saying is, is that when you get people like this girl right here who gets on here and speaks the truth from a ghetto perspective and everything, you start to realize that, guess what? More and more of us blacks are starting to wake up. We're, 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 we're starting to realize that, you know what? Uh, maybe Trump wasn't such a bad guy. Maybe well, the way I was thinking before is completely wrong and it hasn't been getting me anywhere. But when Trump was in office, we weren't having all this bullshit happening with inflation and gas prices going up and the economy going to freaking hell and everything. Our country just losing all this kind of shit. The, the Republicans just freaking signed this new energy bill and they are all celebrating this new energy bill. The only problem is then it still needs to get through the Senate and it has to go through Biden. You know what Biden's going to do when he sees that bill? He's going to rip it. But the Republicans think they got something going on over there and they're like, hey, they got this bill, this hell energy bill. And it's a great bill, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of those type of bills that's like, wow, this will really help us out. Nope, it's not going to happen because you got Biden in office. So people, if we want bills like this that the that the Republicans are putting together that's going to help our country lower our energy costs, make us energy independent instead of depending on Russia and the Middle East for our oil and its resources and China, you get a president like Donald Trump who brings jobs back to our country, who makes things happen in this country, who builds this country up so that we can build up and be florable, uh, flourishable. And then once we're at the point where we are, we've helped ourselves out, then we can help everybody else out, which is what the point was, what that girl was trying to say earlier in the video. 
So anyways, you guys, I just wanted to put this out there. I wanted you guys to see what was happening, you know, on the other, on the other, other end. There's more people like this girl who are, who, who are, who are Latinos, who are black, who are Asian and everything that, that a lot of these, 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 these supposable leftists who are white leftists out there who think that they got control of. No, you starting to lose your grip on the minority out here. I'm letting you leftist white flipnecks out there who supposedly say you're fighting for social justice and all this diversity bullshit. I would rather things go back to the way it was when I lived in the 80s. That was some good times, great times in the 80s, great movies, great television shows, great all kinds of stuff. We actually had a normal, a, a normal society from the 80s through the 90s. And then somehow in the 2000s, the late 2000s, dude, this new generation freaking came out of nowhere and it's just ruining everything. And so forth. I've never seen so many people freaking say that I need to start calling them by their pronouns. This is the most craziest bullshit to me. Sylvester Stallone made that movie Tulsa. Watch that movie how he talks about this whole new woke generation. He's he he's hating on. He can't stand it. There's a lot of celebrities that are in the in the deep that don't like this shit. And more and more people like this girl here, this sister right here. They're going to come out and they're going to start speaking their mind and they're going to start going, you know what? Trump 2024. There's your black power symbol symbol right there. Yeah. For Trump though. Not for you leftist clowns. I'm out. TJ Quake, the ghetto gamer. If you guys like what I do here, come out, sub sippy sippy scribe, you know, go ahead and, and you know, throw a little follow if you're on on any of the other social media sites. Again, you guys, I also have my Rumble channel. Go over there to TJ Quake Ghetto Gaming on Rumble. Follow over there because I got some cool stuff that I'm going to be starting to put over there as, as well. Every video that I normally put out will always be on Rumble. Some videos may not always make it here on YouTube because YouTube, they like to the silence foods over here. Why? Because they don't want the truth to be heard. They don't want that kind of stuff and so forth. So, we have to go to other alternatives, and trust me, we have them. So I have my locals on there, I have my um, Odyssey, and I have my Rumble on there, and I have my website on there. TJ Quake, uh, I believe it's Ghetto uh, Ghetto Galactic, and everything. It's all on there. They got the links down below. You guys like what you see here? Give a follow, give a like. It helps out a brother big time. All right, you guys, you know how I do. I'm TJ Quake, yo Ghetto Gamer. I'll be back on the next one. Peace, and may the funk be with you. You know how I. Do. Yeah, 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 here we go, uh, I'm TJ Quake, the ghetto gamer, on this gaming thing, gonna bang him up, gonna shoot him up, right here on the gaming strang, bang, bang, blaze it on up, TJ Quake, we're busting like the one, two, three, here we go. <laughs> Let's get into this, y'all, yeah. TJ Quake, the ghetto gaming show. <laughs>